Hey guys! So I have a new palette to show with you again. I know. Oh, it's crazy. Anyway, the new chocolate bonbons palette just came out. Oh my god! So this is what the box that it comes in looks like. You all know I love me some chocolate bar palettes and I just could not resist. This is the back. It shows you all the shades. And brace yourselves. Just brace yourselves. This is the palette. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, it's all pink and beautiful and I love Too Faced eyeshadows and their chocolate bars are just awesome. I love them so much. So you ready? You ready? This is what it looks like. So that is the inside. That is all the shades. They are just beautiful. Oh, I love it. And as per usual, they give you the little card that tells you kind of like what looks you can create with this palette. It kind of like a springboard to like, you know, get you started. I just gotta say, like, I love this. It is very different from the previous two. Alright. So here is the original chocolate bar palette. And the Too Faced or the bonbon palette on top, so you can kind of compare the colors. They are very different. And then the semi-sweet chocolate bar is these two right here. So you can kind of get a good idea of just how different they are. Um, in the camera, it's looking like the blues are very similar, but they are actually, in fact, very different. So, let's get into the swatches. Okay, so starting up here, we're going to do Almond Truffle, uh, Cashew Chew, and Dark Truffle. So, that is those three. They are very soft, very creamy. Uh, they go on very nicely, and they're pigmented, and they blend out beautifully. So now I'm going to go in with Satin Sheets, Cotton Candy, and Pecan Praline. So that is them right there. So you have the Pecan Praline, the Cotton Candy, and the Satin Sheets. And that Satin Sheets is gorgeous. It's like a champagne gold, but almost has like pink undertones to it. It's just gorgeous. I love those colors. I'm actually wearing the satin sheets on my eyelids today because it's it's supposed to be a highlight shade, but oh, it's gorgeous. So now I'm going to go in <clears throat> with Totally Fetch, Cafe Ole, and Sprinkles. So these two plus this one. So that is those three there. They are just gorgeous, and as you can see, that pink is really pigmented. The um, Cafe Olay color is kind of like a like a taupey silvery color. It's just gorgeous. And then as you can see, that light pink is just, it's, oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> so now I'm going to do Earl Grey, Bordeaux, and Molasses Chip. So that is those three there. Do you see that pigmentation? They are just gorgeous. The Earl Grey is definitely like a gunmetal dark gray color. I'd say it's a matte. Then this Bordeaux shade, oh, it's so pretty. It's like a burgundy toned brown. It's just gorgeous. And then this one, the Molasses Chip, oh, it's one of those kind of like rosy coppery shades. It's just gorgeous. Uh, it's got that shimmer and shine. It's so beautiful. I will say that that one was calling my name as soon as I opened this palette. I, oh. All right, so now going in to Mocha, Black Current, Malted, and Divinity. Let's get those last four out of the way. So there are the last four. So Mocha is definitely one of those really nice light brown kind of crease colors. It's very matte. It's gorgeous. Then you have Black Current, which is the purpley shade, and it's got a little bit of glitter in it, but 
I mean, it's pigmented. The glitter really does show when you put it on. It's gorgeous. Then you have this other matte brown, which is called Malted. And this, seriously, it's just, it's another gorgeous kind of crease color. Blends out beautifully. I just, I love this one. And then the last one is the other highlight shade in the big pan, and it's Div Divinity. And it's just a really nice, light highlight shade. And it's matte, so they give you a shimmery and a matte. And, I mean, just, I look at this. They're gorgeous, they're pigmented, they go on so nicely. This one up here is like just a beautiful transition shade. I mean, it looks light like it wouldn't do much of anything, this cashew chew, but just beautiful transition shade. Same with this pecan praline. This one is just a, a little bit of a darker transition shade. Then you have these beautiful crease colors. The almond truffle is just beautiful. I mean, look, look at that. That's that almond truffle. And the cashew one is probably can't see it all that well, but I mean, you have such a really nice array of mattes and shimmers and just, you know, satin shades. It's just gorgeous. I, I wasn't sure. I mean, I obviously, I love the chocolate bar palettes. I saw this. I thought it was adorable with the little hearts. And obviously, I love the pink packaging. <laughs> but... The pigmentation and the blendability of these is just amazing. So if you don't have a chocolate bar palette or you're addicted to them like I am, I would definitely recommend this. I think it's great and it does smell like chocolate just like the other ones. So this gives, gets a big thumbs up from me. I definitely think this is a must have for your Christmas list. It's just awesome, and I believe that now it is available on like Sephora and the Too Faced website and probably everywhere else. I highly recommend this. Too Faced really outdoes themselves on the chocolate bar palettes, and this one is amazing. It's just gorgeous. I, I'm, I'm going to say it. This one is probably going to end up being one of my favorite chocolate bar palettes, and the first one is truly my favorite palette like ever. This is amazingly awesome so run out go get it go get you some <laughs> i hope you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you next time bye